Hey, welcome back to Styron Relics. Um, I'm going to show you three models today. And this is the sole reason why I got started into this channel. Uh, this is what I want to do uh, on, a, on a normal basis is, is what we want to do here, is what I want to do here at uh, Styrene Relics. And that is uh, try to preserve older builds while doing new ones myself. But I just want to try and keep uh, what's been done, uh, what someone else has done in the past, and uh, and and just kind of show off what their work is. Um, now, that is in different stages is the way I take it. Um, everybody does their own thing. This is kind of the way I do mine, all right? Um, this build here, when I got it, uh, I bought it off of eBay, and it was a basket case. Uh, and sometimes you can save what someone's done. Sometimes you just got to strip everything down and completely redo it. That's what this was. Um, and then I've got a couple others that, you know, one that I, I just don't want to touch at all. The other one, I'm not sure, and I need your guys' help. And that's really what I'm after on that one. So, anyways, let's get talking about this one. Here's a, a 1960 uh, Imperial. Um, it's it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's, it was bought, like I say, on eBay. And it was really, really bad shape. I mean, uh, it was painted... Uh, black, white, and red, um, hand brushed, extremely thick on the black brush paint. And so I, it, was, it was just so bad I couldn't fix it. So what I did was I, I left everything that he had done on it, and because this is a custom Imperial, it's got the different bumpers and grill and stuff. But I, I, added, um, I added the Continental kit, and I added the tunnel cover over the back seats. Uh, I stripped it down and repainted it. And I added new wheels and tires. Uh, and like I said, I repainted it because it just needed it. Just needed it. And what I did was I stuck with black, white, and red because that's what he had done. So I call this uh, Tuxedo Night. Um... I don't know why I do this kind of stuff, but it's kind of cool. So Tuxedo Night is it is the name of it. Um, it's a showcase winner. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of cool. It, it, I play along with this. It's just it's kind of silly, but I like it. Um, yeah, it it turned out really sweet. This was one of those kits that you could build it this way, um, and obviously he he had done that. But it, it just needed a whole lot of TLC. All right, so if you guys notice, it's got uh, the black bottom, the white top. But somewhere in here, it'll hit the light just right. And you'll notice it's got a lot of green and blue glitter. You guys can see it right in here, probably. See a lot of that, that different glitter in the, in the paint when as it moves. That actually, believe it or not, that's a clear coat that I got um, at the automotive shop. Um, it was kind of cool how that worked out and it's over the white. So the white does it too, but you just don't see it as much on the white. So, um, yeah, tuxedo night. That's what I call it. Let me, uh, let me get you up here and I'm going to shake the camera a little bit, but we'll, we'll see what the interior looks like. You can see, um, the tunnel cover really doesn't fit real good, but it's about the best I could do because it didn't have a tunnel cover for this kit and one of the cool things about it is that steering wheel that's that square looking steering wheel and that was a factory deal that really was uh, a steering wheel like that and the other neat thing was that seat um the bench seat it made it look like a captain's seat and then you know the other seat that came from the factory that way so um yeah that's kind of neat and then the other thing that uh, I'm just going to come out and tell you guys, 
Uh, he had glue boogers everywhere, and I tried cleaning the windshield, and I couldn't do it. So I just painted a, a black bar across the top of like a, a sun visor uh, or uh, a tinted windshield type of thing. I just didn't know how else to fix it. That's about the best way I could do it. So I... I I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do something different with it. Um, I don't have another glass for it, and I'm not real concerned about it. But yeah, tuxedo nights. Um, one little thing is when I picked it up this morning or this afternoon, I noticed one of the rear tires had come loose. So you can see that rear tire kind of mess around. But yeah, I I kind of cleaned it all up. Um, it's just box stock. I. Uh, I did foil everything. If 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 you notice, everything's it's all the chrome has been foiled. Um, let me see if I can get that hood off, boy. I doubt it. You talk about a tough one. No, that's not going to come off. That's a too bad too. I, I always have trouble with this one, but. Anyways, that's Tuxedo Night. Um, I like it. It's kind of neat. It's different. So uh, I, I kind of look at it. It got saved, I, I would think. I, so let me get a couple more here I want to show you. All right. Boy, this is another big car, and it just barely fits in the camera. All right, uh, this one, <coughs> this one's a 58 Imperial, um, and it's uh, it's an old SMP kit. Uh, I bought this one on eBay. Uh, it was just the way you see it. I didn't do a thing with it. I'm not going to do a thing with it. I didn't really have to clean it or nothing. Uh, what's kind of special with this one on for me is um, didn't know it until after I bought it, but I bought this off of Dave Darby, <laughs> uh, and I'm, I hate name dropping, but this was just so cool that I, I just got to throw it out there. Uh, Dave was a uh, he was a guy that um, he built models uh, art box art models for AMT back in the uh, 90s 1990s. And then he did the same thing for Ravel in the early 20, 2000s. Uh, he did box stock stuff. Now, he did not build this. He's uh, he's a guy that's, uh, man, I just really dig a lot. He's got a, uh, and I don't think he'd have a problem with me telling you this. He, he's got a, a Facebook uh, page out there, and it's called uh, Scale Survivors. You guys really need to go over there. He uh, he specializes in older uh, older builds, uh, and they do some new stuff as well over there. But uh, he does a lot of older builds, and uh, uh, or he he re saves a lot of older builds. Let me tell you that. Uh, kind of like what I want to do here. Thing is, I don't do Facebook, so I'm I'm not over there, and I can't tell you everything all he's got going on. But yeah. He's, uh, he's one you want to get hooked up with if you guys dig older stuff. Um, it's called Scale Survivors. It's over on Facebook. But this one here, this has all been uh, brush painted. This, this whole car was brush painted. Uh, the scallops on the front and the back. And I'll show you here in a second, even up on the dashboard. That's all been, uh, that's all brush paint. Uh, the guy did a fabulous job. Uh, the other cool thing about this was uh, the the heat. It has got uh, balsa wood down in here, and uh, to make the skirt go down farther, and then it's all blended in. And uh, let me tip this up, and you can see he's got nice pinstriping painted up on the wind, up on the dashboard and that. So it it's really nice. It's it's a nice survivor. And then, you know, underneath all that. Pretty cool. And I I haven't glued that on. I thought I did. So, yeah, really sweet, man. I, I tell you, this is, 
this right here was just it for me when I got it. And then when I got to talking with him a little bit afterwards, that was just the icing on the cake, man. And you know it's an older build because you can even see that the, the white walls have been painted on. And they're, they're turning yellow a little bit as well. So really super cool. I, I tell you, there's, there's some stuff out there, guys, that would just blow you away. I just got a little nugget. That's, that's all I did. All right, and then here's the here's the one I want to run by you guys. I just picked this up this year, this spring. Um, I bought this at the Macomb Show in in Michigan, and uh, I guess I should have probably put this on. You gotta get the full effect. All right. Uh, this is one of those 70s vibe care, you know, kits, man. This is I haven't done a thing to this car yet. All the pieces are still inside it. Uh I bought this down to McComb show. Um the gentleman I got it from bought it his whole this guy's whole estate. Uh his wife didn't need it. Uh he had a few cars sitting out there. I saw this, had to have it. Uh, because it's exactly what I'm into, man. I just, I just saw it and fell in love with it. The, uh, the, the pinstriping, all this pinstriping that you see in or around the crosses and all this up in here on the roof, that's tape. That is that old tape you used to be able to buy years ago. Uh, and it's faded. It used to be real shiny. Every once in a while, you'll see a piece that is still real shiny, but yeah, he this guy taped off all this stuff and did everything. Uh, the wood grain is is a is a tape. Uh, this on the door has been masked off and sprayed. He's done all of that. Um, he's lowered it right down as far as you can absolutely lower everything, and then the hood. Um, he's got cut and the engine setting right up in there uh, Right up There is no fender wells if you if you notice the headers are right level with the top of the fender All right, so there's no inner fender wells at all in this um, Let's see what else he's got going on It's not setting exactly right because I've had it apart right now, but it, it's very very close <coughs> Excuse me. Um boy. I don't know if I can get in there or not let me see if we can get in there. Well, it's not going to be able to show it. Um, there's even pinstriping on the backs of the bucket seats, which is really cool. Um, the guy had taken and made uh, aluminum exhaust for it. And it's pretty basic down here. And it looks like it's some kind of, I'm, I'm going to say probably... No, that's a that's that's a molded plastic. Okay, those are those are regular exhaust. But he's got aluminum on on there for the the tail tips. And I've got the other one in there. I do not have the door for the back. Uh, so I, I you know there there's no way of fixing that. So that's just got to stay the way it is. But my question to you guys, and I go back and forth with this a lot. Um, and <laughs> I just I fight with myself on this. Uh, here's the thing. Um, how far do I clean this? Because uh, it, it it needs buffing. It needs cleaning. Uh, right now, I just leave it in my display case. I haven't done a thing with it. If you notice, even the, the rubber tire here is starting to white. Sometimes tires, old tires will do that. Uh, I, I've got several of them that, that have done that. Um, the... Uh, the Air cleaners, I've got these. Do I replace them with nice shiny ones? Uh, do I pull the engine out and paint it? It's not painted, you know. It, it, it's kind of begging for it, but he didn't do that. Uh, I do have the other headlight. It's inside. The windshield needs to be replaced, put back up in there. He's tinted that in a yellow, or I mean as in an orange. <clears throat> so obviously I'll be using that. So, I don't know. How, how would you go about doing it? I, I, yep, this is the way I'm going to go. And then the next day, I'm, cha I'm changing my mind. I'm thinking, no, I, don't, I can't do that. So, 
as it's setting right now, I am not going to wax it. I'm not going to do anything but just clean it and put his parts back on it. And then tomorrow, <laughs> I'll want to put new, nice, shiny stuff back on it and make it back to where it was when it was new. I don't think I will. I, this one is just too too cool. So, anyways, you guys do me a favor and let me know what you would do with this one. Because uh, I can't kind of go back and forth with it. Uh, I don't want to make this this thing too long, but uh, that's, that's what I got going on. That's what my channel is really all about. I want to try and say what others have done. And show you off what I've done and show you off what how I've taken somebody else's build and and kind of cleaned it up a little bit that needed to be cleaned up. So, anyways, that's all I got, guys. I uh, appreciate you stopping by. I really do. Uh, all the old timers, all the new guys, uh, man, like and subscribe. Yeah, and it, it just gives me a charge, keeps me going. Uh, I've got a bunch of other stuff to show you. I've got old kits that I've got. Uh, people have gotten started that I'm just begging to, to myself to, to bust out and show you guys uh, old hot rod, hot rods, funny cars, stuff like that over the years I bought that people have done. So anyhow, um, yeah, talk to you guys later. Thanks, Scott. <clears throat>